In Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter four, number 72. And here we were told you buy a lotto ticket and it costs you about 10 bucks. Not even about, it costs 10 bucks. There are only 100 tickets and they told you that one prize, uh, there's one prize of 500, two prizes of 100, and four of $25. And we hear that phrase, find the expected gain or loss. Anytime we hear expected, that's saying, hey, find me a mean. Or you could say an average, but the variable here, like with any kind of, whoa, what is that? Any kind of gambling problem, right? Your variable is always the amount of money that you win. We're always interested in how much you win. So my options are I could win 500 bucks, 100, 25, or I just come out with zero. And then we'll take into account the fact that we had to spend 10 bucks to buy the ticket anyways. But it told me there was one prize of $500. There were two prizes of $100 and four prizes of $25. And if we look at these numbers, right, we had one plus two plus four. So if you think of that, that is seven tickets that are gonna pay you out. So if I have seven tickets out of 100 that are winners, then I'm gonna have 93 tickets that are losers, right? 93 tickets, I'll put seven tickets that are winners and 93 tickets that are losers. And that's where you see me using the complement rule to find this probability. So, so now that I've made my PDF, right, because it's a discrete numerical variable, make that PDF, all right, I go ahead and I run one of our stats, L1, L2, and you see that on average, I make about $8. And that sounds great until you remind yourself that you had to spend 10 bucks just to get the ticket. So you're actually losing $2 on average because you spend, excuse me, you win $8, but you lose the $10 to buy the ticket. So really, you're losing $2 on average overall. And that's how you do 72. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.